from low carb donuts to low carb dog food and everything in between. Is it biblically sound or do you really care? Today's program is entitled Curbing the Carbs. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome to Abundant Living. This is my beautiful wife, H honey. Oh, okay. Oh, the program, hi. the camera's is rolling, baby. Honey. Okay, what are you reading? Honey. This is kind I'm of rude. I'm reading this magazine from Time Magazine, and it's got an article in there. First it's, of all, you got the lady with the, the hole. The low carb nation. The mm -hmm, lady got mm -hmm, a hole mm -hmm, in the bread, mm -hmm, and she's mm -hmm. smiling in between the holes. Yes, indeed. And oh, it my says goodness. that uh, nutritionists are horrified, but they can't stop the forces that is reshaping the food industry and our bodies. Oh my goodness. But I tell you what, the nutritionists might be horrified like myself right now, but believe me when I tell you, we're gonna get the grip on this one here. Yeah, we got two programs okay. for this pro Yes, okay, okay, so now, what, 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 is, what are they saying in that uh, article But I'm gonna there, tell you, one of, the things that, one of the things going on right now, and, and that there's almost every manufacturer that's mm -hmm. out there, and I'm not gonna call their names out, that we know well-known manufacturers, mm -hmm. they are so much into this carb hype, no carb, mm -hmm. until they've actually now going into a whole new series of foods that are called the low carb or no carb mm, mm, foods. Mm, okay? Have mercy. Lots and lots of money is being spent on that. Now the ADA of course once again wants to come back out and remind us about now they did um, the American Dietetic Association. Yeah, the American Dietetic Association okay. along with the Food and Drug Administration. We call those kind of the warlords when it comes okay. to nutrition and information that we get as, in the public sector. Right. And they made a comment about these uh, six fad diets that they want us to remind us about diets that do not work. Okay. okay, here we go. And one Six of them is fads. called the, the magic mm -hmm. uh, diet, or we call miracle foods. And you'll hear about that a lot on, mm -hmm. on TV and sometimes in newspapers. And anyway, they don't work. You know, talking about they'll burn X number of calories and all that. That's not true. So a particular food that just they call does a miracle, miracle thing. Foods. Yeah. Okay, yeah. whatever that and is. And I'm not going to name them because you know what? I used to name things and people would be sitting there watching TV and say, I'm write that down. I'm going to get that <laughs> next week. So I'm so not even going to tell you what they are. We're not going to name them. Okay? okay. And then, of course, rapid weight loss. You'll always see articles and magazines uh, and television talk mm -hmm. about how you can lose five or ten pounds mm -hmm. uh, a week. Okay. Uh, we know that the ideal way to lose weight is no more than one to two pounds a week. Okay, let, let's say that weight. again. Now, we're okay. not talking about five or ten pounds five a week, ten, some but how much per week is safe? A guide. safe guideline, we're talking one to two pounds a week. A week. And I know you're saying that doesn't seem like a lot, but if you say, let's just say, we said before on another program, two pounds a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, two pounds a week times four, that's eight pounds a month. Mm -hmm. All right, that's more understandable. Right. And also, uh, the reason why they say that you can lose five or ten pounds in one week, guaranteed, is because they know that you're not going to get your money back from them because you're going to lose that water weight. Along with water weight, you're going to also lose muscle, which is very mm. crucial to the body system. So the, you're not really losing in the first initial phase of some of these diets. No fat. Not fat, no. but losing weight. That's right. And there's a big difference. That's we'll right. probably go into that the next time we meet. And then how many times have we seen the one that comes on and says, eat all you want to eat, no exercise, and you're going to lose weight. Now, all of you that have tried that one, you know that doesn't <laughs> work, right? This, uh, no but exercise. It gives them, but it gives them a permission not to mm -hmm. exercise and eat all that. That's what, they really what we want to yes. do. Is we not want exercise. that permission. Yes. Okay. What's and then another of course one? there's bizarre diets out. Mm -hmm. Things like all grapefruit diet. Okay. Um, all um, fruits by itself or or some type of a, a meat yeah. item. Whatever they get into. So that. it's not a well balanced soup. type diet. Well, these are diets that people get on, mm -hmm. and something might happen for the first couple of days. But I always have said this, and I will repeat again. Any diet that you're not willing to do for the rest of your life, it should go in file 13 as a trash can because it's not going to work. Okay. All right. Well, then, of course, you hear articles about combining foods. Okay. Certain foods you put together that they'll make the system toxic. Mm -hmm. Well, what can you say with that one, honey? Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay. And then, okay, uh, of course, one. the last one, last one, number six, <laughs> is okay. they, they call them um, limiting your foods, of course, just getting on one type of food item, just one. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was teaching classes, we talked about the Zen microbiotic diet, where people right. go all the way down just doing brown rice, and all they eat is brown rice continuously. Right. Once again, not enough nutrition. The body needs nutrition. So that's the ADA's comments to us telling us, be careful of those fad diets, because they don't work, which brings us in line to this one about the... The low carb, and it's here to stay. I mean, it's gaining steam. I mean, it's it like is. a snowball rolling downhill. 
As a matter of fact, momentum. Curtis, on the stats, uh, what I was yeah, reading what, in what this article, stats and how it many was saying, engage in this? Uh, this is from the uh, Center for Disease and Control okay. and Prevention, talks about the fact that from poor diets and lack of exercise actually killed uh, 400,000 Americans in, in the year 2000. 400,000 400, Americans? 400,000 Americans. Now, when we talk about lack of uh, diet, um, eating right and lack of exercise, what we're talking about is that these bring on major killer diseases, okay. heart disease, diabetes, mm -hmm. cancer, um, and the like. All those are part of that. So it's actually the major killer diseases that come in as a result of not eating right mm -hmm. and not exercising, okay? That figure also is almost in sync to those who die from heart disease. Uh, from heart you know, disease. Almost a half a million. And also um, 435,000 individuals died the same year 2000 from tobacco smoke. Oh, okay. So it's actually on line with that. Sure and is. of course, uh, with the diabetes running rampant right now, okay. 175 million Americans uh, with diabetes has been estimated by the year 2030 mm -hmm. that there will actually be uh, 366 million Americans mm. that will be diabetics. Oh my goodness. Um, Curtis, in this amount, the ADA has already said that 58 million Americans are overweight and over half of that amount of individuals are on some type of diet program. Mm, mm, mm. And you know that's, that's very mm. crucial and critical for and, us. And not to mention the children, because there's mm. a trend of our children obesity. Absolutely. So we're, we're, we are the fattest nation on earth, folks. I mean, that's not one thing we can really brag about. And $30 billion dollars spent on diet programs. 30 million or billion? billion. Did you say billion? Billion. Every single year, mm -hmm. low carb diets or mm -hmm. diets in general. That's right. I think then we need to define the word carbohydrates. Okay, I think you're right. That's a good idea. And before we can talk about this topic intelligently, we must define the word so we know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember over 40 years ago, I was in grade school, which means I'm over 40. Uh, the teacher used to tell me, Curtis, if you don't know what a word means, look at the root word of that word. If you can define the root word or words of a word, then you can define what that word means. Mm -hmm. So now I did that. And when this low carb diet came into being, of course, uh, several years ago, really back in the 70s or early 70s, and I know some people were practicing that then. I was a former bodybuilder, mm -hmm. and right before a contest, before they go on stage and flex their muscles, they would eat nothing but steak and water, about maybe three weeks before a contest. And they would cut out the fat, they would be real trim. Uh, I didn't do that, but I was doing the carbohydrates. So this was going on for over 30 years or so. Mm -hmm. But anyway, looking at the word itself, she said, if you can define the root words of a word, then you can define that word. So let's look at that. Carbohydrate. Look at the first part of that word, carbo. The word carbo comes from the word carbon. Mm -hmm. It is uh, one of the most prolific elements known to mankind. It's found in all living organisms. Animals and humans have carbon. It's for combustion. Mm -hmm. It gives us energy, mm -hmm. all right? Um, carbon is what fuels the body as gas that fuels the automobile. Therefore, when we take in food that has carbohydrates, mm -hmm. gives us combustion, gives us energy, then we are able to move and function. Then when we breathe out the byproduct of that, through our lungs, we call that carbon dioxide. Now, just like an automobile, you know, back, back in the 70s, we had to, uh, the gas was about, what, 35 cents a gallon and 41 cents for premium. Mm -hmm. I remember that back mm -hmm. in the 70s. Mm -hmm. We may not find that again. But anyway, uh, I remember some guys, they would have a four-barrel carb under the hood, mm -hmm. which means more energy, more combustion. Okay. And so there's more gasoline. So when a car drives down the street, the end product of that comes from the exhaust, and we call that carbon monoxide, all right? So again, um, carburetor uh, comes from the word carb, carb, carburetor, mm -hmm. uh, carbohydrates, carb, carbon for the body. Now, the second uh, part of that word is hydrate. Now, of course, um, if we're dehydrated, it means that we don't have enough water in our bodies. So therefore, hydrate means we have water. The body is made up of water, 63% mm. water, sometimes even more based on whatever book you look at. So again, the body is made up of carbon. Mm -hmm. The body is made up of water. Therefore, it seems to reason that we need foods that contain carbohydrate, if nothing else is said. We need carbohydrates for energy, for combustion. I like the way you explain that. Because I'm going to tell you right now, as a woman, you want to talk about that car thing? 
I didn't go there at first. You, and then you, didn't you go began there. to explain that better and better. And I think all of us got that one, Curtis. Okay. And hey, hopefully so my much. teacher was watching. Uh, she may be proud of me because I did remember you did, you her did saying a good that job. over you did 40 good. years ago. Yeah. You did good. But so, so now that we have defined a term, yes. Yes. now we can talk about this topic more intelligently for the next two times that we meet because we're going to be dealing with this topic for the next two times we meet, carbohydrates or low carbohydrates. Now, you talked about the carbohydrates from the scientific standpoint, the body chemistry standpoint. I want to know what does the Word of God have to say about the carbohydrates? Okay, about carbohydrates and low carbs and the mm -hmm. Word of God, okay. You know, the Word of God, it has principles for living, mm. for relationships, for finance, and uh, for everything in life that we find ourselves engaged in. Health is without exception in what we eat as well. Now. This first graphic may seem out of place, but let's look at it first of all. The origin of mankind. This is Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Bible says, God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Mm. Okay. Now, you may say to yourself, what in the world does that text have to do with the low-carb diet or diets in general? Yes. Let me make the connection with you. Now, a lot of people don't know this, and we, we travel quite a bit, and we mention this to a lot of individuals, and they're very surprised. One low-carb diet in particular has its philosophy based on evolution. Mm. There's another diet that's not low carb, but there's another diet out there that also based its philosophy on evolution. And when anybody or any company or any organization does that, it snatches away God, the creator. Yes. It snatches away his authority as far as his creative power is concerned. Therefore, mankind was created by God. Mm -hmm. Now, the other days of creation, he spoke and it stood fast. The sun, the moon, the stars, the grass, the herbs, etc. When he came to mankind, the crowning act mm -hmm. of his creation, mm -hmm. he fashioned it with his own hands, dust from the ground. Yes. Then he fashioned mankind. Mm -hmm. Man at that point was a dead soul. Mm -hmm. Then God did not mouth to mouth, but mouth to nose, resuscitation, he breathed into man's nostrils the breath of life. After that, man became a living soul. So a soul is not something that you have. A soul is who you are. Mm. We don't have a soul. We are a soul. Now, to say otherwise, it means that it takes away God's creative power. And that's why this one low-carb diet in particular he even says it in his introduction. And another diet that's not low carb, but it's also based on evolution. That in itself, to any Bible believing Christian, that is an automatic red flag, if nothing else is said. So again, we are created by God, not by evolution. So let's look at this. We have God, the father of creation. We have Charles Darwin, the father of evolution. Mm -hmm. God is live and a well. Charles Darwin is dead and gone. Mm -hmm. Yet we choose some people this diet, and it's based on some of these diets on evolution. So that's an automatic red flag. So it's not based on biblical principles. One diet in particular, the low carb, and then another diet that's not low carb, is based on evolution as well. Well, I guess you're saying to yourself, I sure wish he would tell me who that is and what that book is. Okay, but, but you've got to make sure you stay by. That's right. I mean, Stay don't by. give it all to them in just one program. One they program at a back. time. Yeah. They can come back. Yeah. And, you know, you know? And, and Satan, what is so deceptive about, about this is that it gives us a benefit. Satan's attempt is to destroy God's crowning act, which is us. Absolutely. Mankind. Absolutely. To know the enemy and to destroy the enemy, we must know more about that enemy. So Satan has studied by one inspired writer, anatomy and physiology, he has studied the way this body works and functions, the heart, the lungs, the kidneys. He knows how we work. Therefore, to put a diet that is contrary to the way our bodies is made up, 
know that it will really decrease the body function mm -hmm. and the functionality of the human system. But he knows that if the benefit can be attached to it, then we'll buy into it. And the benefit is I'm losing weight. Mm. That's the benefit. Therefore, more people are deceived because the benefit is attached to it and they buy into the benefit without looking at the long-term effect of this low-carb diet. And don't we also want a quick fix? That's you right. Really think Something about our easy. society, the way we live yes. now. It's more about how fast can I get it? Mm -hmm. How quick can I get it? Without the having to give up what we don't yeah. want to yeah. eat. We don't want it. We don't want to sweat or worry, worry ourselves. But I like that part where you say about the Creator God, because in the Book of Psalms, David says, "We are so wonderfully and magnificently made." Exactly. You know? And so, just the, the intricates of studying anatomy, physiology, the body, and how the body works. And the body needs to have good nutrition That's in order right. for it to be able to function properly. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the original diet, the first diet? Okay, let's take a look at the first diet, and let's see. After mankind was made by God, the Creator, He gave them foods to eat, the first diet, Genesis 129 and also Genesis 3.18. This is the New International Version and the Bible says, I, God is talking here, I give you, our first parents, every seed bearing, I want to emphasize the word, plant, every tree that has fruit, they will be yours for food. You will eat the plants of the field, thereby. God's first diet for mankind is a plant-based diet. Now you notice fruit was mentioned as one of the food groups in there. It's really diametrically opposed to a low-carb diet mm. because a low-carb diet, the first phase in a way, will eliminate all fruit. Mm -hmm. Yet fruit is the first thing that was mentioned in God's original mm. plant-based diet for mankind carbohydrates, plants from the field, vegetation, roots, and also plants from the tree, the fruit. All those are carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. The low carb diet is low on carbohydrates and high in fats and protein. Mm -hmm. You notice there that that plant-based diet, it does not contain any animal protein mm -hmm. and very small amount of plant-based protein because mm -hmm. there's not a whole lot of protein in plant-based. So again, it's diametrically opposed to a low-carb diet, God's original plant-based diet. It's high in carbohydrates and low in fat and protein. Well, I kind of remember when we had this whole craze about the mad cow, mm -hmm. hoof and mouth and all those different things that came out not too long ago. And of course the meat and the milk and the eggs and cheese kind of went down because Americans had that fear factor coming in about the mad cow. And of course right behind that, all of a sudden it's the no-carb. That's right. It is always something going on. And that's why you really need to uh, read for yourself and read good information and listen to programs like ours where we try to uh, go and look at all the scientific data out there along with anatomy, physiology, and of course, as you always know, on Abundant Living, using the Word of God as our other backup let you know what the Creator God really wants for us and how Amen. He's so concerned about us. That's right. You know, and so I know you're saying, are we going in the kitchen? The answer is yes. And as a matter of fact, Curtis, we're going to fix a dish today, which is a Creole brown rice. So get your paper and pencil and meet us in the kitchen. Would you like to learn more about preparing healthful vegetarian dishes? If so, then you want to be sure to order our free Abundant Living resource sheet. It contains useful information about products and cookbooks that will help you to learn more about this natural way of cooking. Along with your order, we would also like to include a free copy of the booklet, The Natural Way to Keep in Shape. This 20-page booklet is filled with tips that will help you to develop a total lifestyle approach to health. To receive both the Abundant Living Resource Sheet and the natural way to keep in shape, call us at 800-752-3226 during regular business hours. Call and ask for this special offer today. Well, we want to welcome you back. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to the very... Uh, first recipe or the only recipe we'll okay. be using on our show, right. which is called a Creole brown rice. It calls for one tablespoon of olive oil, one medium onion chopped, one clove of garlic minced, one package of mock sausage crumbled, one package of frozen peas, 10 ounces, one teaspoon of onion powder, one can of stewed tomatoes, 15 ounces, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and three cups of brown rice steamed. 
Okay, Creole brown rice. Creole brown rice. So interesting, the Creole part. Now. That's right, because it kind of gives that little more bit of sass. More than just brown rice. It's got more seasonings in it. You know, the it's So that's good. the Creole part. That's the Creole part. That's the okay. Creole part. And okay. the Creole really represents basically the onions and the um, cayenne pepper that kind of gives a little more pizzazz to the recipe. It, it got some little kick to it. Yeah. Now, you mentioned now, about the mock sausage. Now, what? Now, that's what I'm going to show okay. first, because I want them to see this. Uh, okay, this, this is a, uh, put out by uh, Light Life Foods. It's okay. called uh, Gimme Lean. Um, sausage is a mock sausage is not the real thing okay. you know and uh, we're going to put this in our, our, our recipe okay so okay. now this give me lean it would be better lower in saturated fat and cholesterol oh there's no cholesterol no, no, cholesterol. no, no cholesterol whatsoever Zero cholesterol. low in calories that's right and it's not a it's a, it's a carb item now oh, well, what's okay. going to happen is <laughs> while we already talking about the uh, uh, curries is getting ready to do the onions and okay. go ahead and finish chopping that up for me he's chopping up the onions and also the garlic to go into this, we have our olive oil already heating here on the stove, and I'm going to go ahead on and get the um, gimme lean sausage ready as well. Now, it does have a different kind of a texture. It's very soft, and sometimes what I tell people to do is to take and put it inside of uh, the freezer if you want to make just sausage patties out of it. In this case, we're going to actually crumble it up, mm -hmm. all right? That gimme lean reminds me of Jimmy Dean. It, I guess maybe yes. that's the kind Absolutely. of... Absolutely. I was just wondering about that. It does. It does remind you of the Jimmy yeah. Dean. It's actually supposed to be mimicking the Jimmy yeah. Dean type sausage, okay? Have you had Jimmy Dean? I did back in the day. Back in the day? And All right, I'm going to help you with the garlic. The back in the day means some time ago? Am I supposed to answer that? Are well, we finished with, the, with these um, onions? Well, I'm, back I'm just trying Back in the day to, means... Yeah, some time exactly ago. Exactly what I said back in the day. Oh, my... Well. I guess All you, right, guess are we ready? Told me. Okay, uh, just finished up now. See, honey, you're so busy trying to say things to me. You're not doing your work. That's what's going <laughs> no, on here. I'll finish. I'll All right. Okay. okay. All right, we got the um, onions and the garlic Two in more there. In just threw in there. Two more. Two more pieces of that. And we're going to go ahead and turn this up then and get that going. And what I like to do is get that sauteing a little bit. And once again, because the... Um, sausage mm -hmm. is, is very soft, okay. then usually you want to get some kind of like a, a little bit of oil coating it because okay. it actually crumbles up a lot better. All right? So now, now this needs to be somewhat firm, not all the way soft then, mm, in order to slice it? No, I'm going to actually just mash it up. So okay. since I'm going to mash it up, it doesn't make any difference at all, okay? okay. Um, we're going to go ahead on and put it in there because of uh, the sake of our time factor. Now notice once again, we have the stewed tomatoes okay. that we're going to be putting in. Also, I said partially frozen peas. Mm -hmm. These are uh, peas that are frozen. Throw them out just a little bit okay. so they can go in dish as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're talking about the carb. Why don't you make a comment as I'm doing this about why we have the brown rice. We talk about real good carbs. We're talking about having like things like the whole grain foods. Okay? That's true, yeah. Now again, we're going to be talking about carbs for the next two times that we meet. And the next program, we're going to be talking about the good carbs and the bad carbs, what makes a good carb bad and what makes a bad carb bad as well. So we've been talking about that. But this is a good carb, a brown rice as opposed to white rice. So that's why we're using this type of carbohydrate in this food today. And uh, we'll be talking about also, as you're doing that, uh, glucose, why the body needs glucose. Uh, why does the body produce sometimes ketones and ketoacidosis? And what does the word net carbs mean by definition? And so we're going to go into all of those things within the next uh, two times that we meet. Now I like the idea you made some comments, you net carbs and all these. Yeah, these net are, carbs, that's, that's the term. We're going to define the word okay. net carbs. Okay. Okay. How do they come up with net carbs? So that's coming up too as well. So when we talk about some biblical principles, and again, it's not so much what you're not eating this low carb diet because it's deficient in some of the nutrients, but also what they allow you to eat. And some of those foods are basically just unclean folks uh, based on scripture. Uh, Leviticus chapter 11 and Deuteronomy chapter 14 where uh, a lot of these low-carb diets also emphasize persons eating uh, foods that are not clean in those two chapters. Uh, your seafoods, your shrimp, lobster, crabs, and your pork, and all those foods are um, uh, prohibited by Scripture. So it's not really biblically, biblically sound as far as the low-carb diet is concerned about what you're not eating and what you do eat. Well, I know one thing for sure, and that is that the carbohydrate, we, when we talk about that, and we're going to get into that, like you said, but mm -hmm. I think when we talk about, like, the brown rice is that it has more staying power. Yes. If you really notice a lot of time when you eat the uh, carb foods, especially your complex carbs, mm -hmm. your whole grains, your whole bread, mm -hmm. your brown rice, you have more staying power. You, you, you're actually fuller for a longer period of time, so you don't have the time when you're actually cheating. Right. Where when you have the refined 
type, you know, white flour, white, white rice and whatever, you're hungry. That's right. Not too long after that, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, this is getting going here. Okay. And what I usually do is I, I let this cook down. When I say cook down, you're going to just let the, the onions are going to saute a little bit and the meat or this mock meat sauce. And it smells like regular mm -hmm. sausage. It, it really does. It has a nice smell to it. Now, again, you can get this Gimme Lean at your regular, regular grocery store. You don't have to go to a health food store nope. to get this Gimme Lean. Nope. Okay. And if they don't have it at your supermarket? Lobby. That's right. Yes. That's the name of the game. They'll go ahead and uh, sign up uh, sign up sheet and they can really get that, that product in there for you. But most grocery stores we have seen when we travel does have the Gimme Lean sausage in your regular major uh, grocery stores. And when I do this also, Chris, I like to do chunks. I don't like it to be really, re really um, very fine because mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you have that texture in your mouth when it's getting, you know, okay. when you're taking it in, okay? Mm -hmm. And I know that you're probably saying, okay, am I going to see this? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. What's going to happen is this is going to finish sauteing for a few minutes and we're going to just go ahead and put our lid on top of it and it's going to saute and then I'm going to take and add to that the stewed tomatoes, stewed tomatoes and then the peas. And the peas. I'm going to put the seasonings in okay. and then I'm going to stir the rice in. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then you're going to get the opportunity when the show ends to see mm -hmm. the finished product. So stay okay. by. Would you like to learn more about preparing healthful vegetarian dishes? If so, then you want to be sure to order our free Abundant Living resource sheet. It contains useful information about product and cookbooks that will help you to learn more about this natural way of cooking. Along with your order, we would also like to include a free copy of the booklet, The Natural Way to Keep in Shape. This 20-page booklet is filled with tips that will help you to develop a total lifestyle approach to health. To receive both the Abundant Living Resource Sheet and The Natural Way to Keep in Shape, call us at 800-752-3226 during regular business hours. Call and ask for this special offer today. Well, look at that. Ooh, the finished product. Creole brown rice. Creole, the absolutely, Creole part. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a nice pizzazz. Got that pizzazz going on. Right. It? Okay. And it's it very is, colorful, too. Yep. Now, this is one of those dishes you can actually serve with um, steamed corn. Okay. And you could have either broccoli with it or string beans with it. Mm -hmm. um, you could have okay. whole grain um, bread rolls that you okay. can have with it as well. And voila, you got an entire meal. So now this can really be your main, this I guess this is your main, main entree, yes, and then yeah. just kind of work around your side dishes, right, and this right. will be it. And very simple to do, it's easy too. Absolutely. And I don't see any forks or spoons around here too, so is that on purpose or what? Yes, indeedy. Oh, well, that, that was really quick and right to the point there. Now again, uh, this program, of course, this is part one, mm -hmm. and the next two times we'll meet, we'll go with part two and part three, dealing with curbing the carbs. Mm -hmm. So you want to stay tuned for that. We'll talk about the ketones and glucose and carbohydrates and different types of carbohydrates. So, we'll have lots anyway, of food. We'll that's have food. right. We'll, have food. well, as always, Jesus said, I come that they might have life and have, have it, it more yeah. abundantly. talk about how you can lose five or ten pounds mm -hmm. uh, a week. Okay. Uh, we know that the ideal way to lose weight is no more than one to two pounds a week. Okay, let, let's say that again. Now, we're okay. not talking about five or ten pounds five a or week, ten, some but how much per week is safe a guide? A safe guideline, we're talking one to two pounds a week. A week. And I know you're saying that doesn't seem like a lot, but if you say, let's just say, we said before on another program, two pounds a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, two pounds a week times four, that's eight pounds a month. Mm -hmm. All right, that's more understandable right. and also uh, the reason why they say that you can lose five or ten pounds in one week guaranteed is because they know that you're not going to get your money back from them because you're going to lose that water weight along with water weight you're going to also lose muscle which is very mm. crucial to the body system. so the, you're not really losing in the first initial phase of some of these diets no fat not fat no. 
but losing weight. That's right. And there's a big difference. Right. Now, the ADA, of course, once again wants to come back out and remind us about... Now, the ADA, um, the American Dietetic Association. Yeah, the American Dietetic Association, okay. along with the Food and Drug Administration. We call those kind of the warlords when it comes okay. to nutrition and information that we get as, in the public sector. Right. And they made a comment about these uh, six fad diets. That they want us to remind us about diets that do not work. Okay, okay here we go. And one six of them is fads. called the, the magic... Mm -hmm. A diet or we call miracle foods and you'll hear about that a lot on mm -hmm. on TV and sometimes in newspapers and anyway they don't work you know talking about they'll burn X number of calories and all that that's not true so a particular food that just so they call does it a miracle, miracle thing yeah okay yeah. whatever that and is and I'm not gonna name them because you know what I used to name things and people we sit there watching TV and say I'm write that down go get that <laughs> next week so I'm <laughs> so not even gonna tell you what we're they not are. gonna name them. Okay? okay and then of course rapid weight loss you'll always see articles and magazines uh, and television we'll probably going to that the next time we meet and then how many times have we seen the one that comes on and says, eat all you want to eat, no exercise, and you're going to lose weight. Now, all of you that have tried that one, you know that doesn't work, right? There's like no but exercise. It gives them, but it gives them a permission not to mm -hmm. exercise mm -hmm. and eat all that. That's, that's really want. what we want to yes, do. We want that exercise. permission. Yes, okay. Those and then, of course, one. there's bizarre diets out. Mm -hmm. Things like all grapefruit diet, okay, um, all um, fruits by itself or or some type of a, a meat yeah. item, whatever. They get into so that. So it's not a well-balanced type diet. Well, these are diets that people get on, mm -hmm. and something might happen for the first couple of days. But I always have said this, and I'll repeat it again. Any diet that you're not willing to do for the rest of your life it should go in file 13 as a trash can because it's not going to work. Okay. All right. Well, then, of course, you hear articles about combining foods. Okay. Certain foods you put together. From low-carb donuts to low-carb dog food and everything in between. Is it biblically sound or do you really care? Today's program is entitled Curbing the Carbs. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome to Abundant Living, and this is my beautiful wife, H honey. Oh, okay. Oh, the program, hi. the camera's just rolling, baby. Honey. Okay, what are you reading? Honey. This is kind I'm of rude. I'm reading this magazine from Time Magazine, and it's got an article in there. First it's, of all, you got the lady with the, the hole. The low carb nation. The mm -hmm, lady got mm -hmm, a hole mm -hmm, in the bread, mm -hmm, and she's mm -hmm. smiling mm -hmm. in between the hole. Yes, indeedy. And oh, it my says goodness. that uh, nutritionists are horrified, but they can't stop the forces that is reshaping the food industry and our bodies. Oh my goodness. Well, I tell you what, the nutritionists might be horrified like myself right now, but believe me when I tell you, we're gonna get the grip on this one here. Yeah, we got two programs okay. for this pro Yes, okay. okay, so now, what, 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 is, what are they saying in that uh, article well, I'm gonna there, tell you, one of, things that, one of the things that's going on right now, and, and that there's almost every manufacturer that's mm -hmm. out there, and I'm not gonna call their names out, that we know well-known manufacturers, mm -hmm. they are so much into this carb hype, no carb, mm -hmm. until they've actually now going into a whole new series of foods that are called the low-carb or no-carb mm, mm, foods, mm, okay? Have mercy. Lots and lots of money is being spent on that.